stories change over time, as does the creatures that dwell within them. Sometimes traditions from different ages clash. Quite literally in this Norwegian tale of two terrors, the Sea Drog and the Land Droger. Like so many Norwegian stories, it starts with booze. But the booze will have to wait until I, I give a little background. Long before the Droger were resurrected as zombie Viking axe fodder in games like Skyrim and God of War, these Norse ideas of the undead melded with Christian ideas imported from the continent. Over the centuries, the Draugr morphed into the oceanic drowning spirit called Draugen, whose folklore survived into modern times. Growing up in the 1980s, I still remember my grandparents jokingly speaking of Draugen to scare me to behave while out fishing. Draugen is most often a single entity, a sort of oceanic troll or embodiment of those lost at sea. It can attack and drown lone fishermen, or appear as a harbinger of death at sea, but sometimes it can come up on land. And while there are many variations of today's story, uh, it often starts on Yulaften on Christmas Eve. As the Yuletide festivities drag on, a young man called Ola goes to the boathouse to fetch another bucket of booze, as, you know, we all need some buckets of booze to get into the spirit. But there in the boathouse, sitting silently on the bucket, is Dragon himself, staring out at sea. Being a little bit tipsy, Ola takes a sharp stick used to drag large fish up in the boats and stabs Draugen in the back so it falls into the ocean. Now, Draugen doesn't really appreciate this and Ola realizes his folly. With Draugen at his heels, he runs for his life until he gets to the cemetery. In some versions, he screams for hell, shouting, Christian souls, rise up from your graves and defeat this beast. In other versions, Ola just knows that Lande Droger doesn't like the Sea Droger. As he runs to safety, Ola hears all hell break loose behind him. Of course, no one believes a word he says as he burst back into the Yule party. Have you had a little bit too much to drink, they laugh. But the next day, as they wake from their Christmas stupor, they find the graves burst open and the cemetery full of seaweed. This tale is what's often classified as a migratory legend, which means it survives in several different versions over a huge geographic area. Many of these versions don't even have any Draugr in them, but local encounters of ghosts and spirits with robbers or even enemy soldiers. So, if you have any similar stories from your part of the world, please do share and if you'd like uh, more uh, stories about uh, ancient Draugrs or other Norse hauntings, stay tuned. <laughs>